Hello all my inspirations and welcome to Inspirational by Marie. If you're here for the first time, I welcome you with love. We are a family here, so please get involved. Today we've got an interesting topic. We're going to be discussing the power of words against ourselves. The words we use against ourselves more specifically. But before we get into that video, please make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Right guys, let's get into it. But do you know how hot it is in London right now, in the UK? It is fire hot. I'm trying my best to keep it together because <laughs> I am on fire, literally. I've got heat rash all over my face, hence why I didn't come with like a full, full makeup face. But yeah, it is really hot. Anyway, let's get into it. So the power of words. Now, this is so important. It dawned on me, you know, as I reflect on life, on my life, on situations, just thinking, right? I find that words are so important and powerful. The other day I was watching a film, right? And it was, what was it called again? It was one of these Netflix films and I was watching it with my mum and I believe it was called um, The Call, right? And had Halle Berry in it. I think it's The Call. Go and watch it, it's a good film, right? It made me tense, okay? And there was a specific part of the film that I was thinking to myself, it's like I wanted to, I was so frustrated, so I wanted to say all manner of things. I wanted to say, oh my God, don't do this. I wanted to even swear, like, literally, like, I wanted to let it out like that because I was so tense, right? But when I was watching the film, I kept saying, God is good, God is good, God is good, God is good. It might sound funny, but as I was saying that, I believe God was speaking to me, right? And what he was saying is that even in these situations in life, right, when you're backed up against the wall, you don't know what to do, you don't know what to do next, you're thinking, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I'm so stupid, I'm foolish, I'm not smart enough, I'm not... In those times, what are we saying? What are our words saying? What are we professing? So as I was saying, God is good, God is good, God is good, it showed me that despite what I was feeling, what was coming out of my mouth was edifying that situation even though I didn't feel you know comfortable so I'm here today to really this is an encouraging message an encouragement message okay and before I even kind of go deeper I just want to kind of say that when people come with encouraging messages or inspirational messages or something like that we are all learning we're all on a journey I never come because I know more than another person or because I think I'm better because I think I'm perfect. Not that anybody makes me feel that way, but I do think it's important that we all have the understanding that whenever someone comes with such a message or they're pouring into somebody, it doesn't really mean that they are have it all put together in their life. What it just means is that they simply have a message and they're spreading it. But we all have struggles, we all have situations that we go through that actually we also need to be poured into. So that's why I really do encourage everybody to continue when we speak together in the comments. It really does inspire me too. Okay, let me get back to it. So as I'm watching the film, right, I'm like going off. I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh. And I just kept saying, God is good, God is good, God is good. Now I want you to think of a situation or a time in your life that maybe because of a certain situation, let's say you failed an exam when you were like 15, 17, 18, and that stopped you maybe at that time from getting to the next level. And anytime you're facing a certain situation like that, you always remember it and you feel like, oh no, I'm stupid. Oh, I can't do it. Do you understand? No, I want us to change it. Just like I was feeling uncomfortable about it, I was still saying God is good. You can still say to yourself, even in the midst of that situation, that no, you are smart. We have situations in our life or, you know, areas in our life that we all need to improve on. Like literally, even a basketball player, a football player, they did not become so great overnight. It took time. It took patience. It took persistence. It took perseverance. Do you understand what I'm saying? It took a lot to get to that point. But I believe in the power of words that we use, you know, towards ourselves in our situations, despite what we're feeling, we've got to change the narrative. Even if you are feeling stupid, don't say you're stupid. Say you're smart or give the glory to God. That's another thing. I was watching a, um, I believe it it was like an audio book. I, I listened to it about two years ago and it was just about the life of a Christian. And what I remember the man saying, right, was that Christians don't actually know, yeah, the power that they hold within their tongue. 
you know, the power of the tongue. They don't, we don't actually know the power that we possess. And that in the spiritual realm, when we speak these things, it's like we're releasing blessings. We're releasing some sort of God. We're releasing some sort of um, protection. When we are saying things like, you know, God protect us, praying basically, we are protecting ourselves and we're shielding ourselves. And I go on to say, not just for Christians, for anybody in the world, actually, the power of the tongue is very important. The power of words that we use against ourselves and for ourselves is very important. I hear a lot about people talking about, you know, manifestations and affirmations, whatever you want to call it, but it all still stems, right, from the power of words. Because I believe that people have understood that they see something, they say, and they're going to believe that it's going to happen. You believe in what you're saying. So when we speak negatively about ourselves in certain situations, can you see how that works against whatever it is that we want to do positively? I don't believe there's any person on this earth that likes to live a bad life or wants to see something bad happen in their life. But a lot of this is within our power. What are we saying about our situations? What are we saying about our circumstances? What are we saying about the future? What are we saying in the small moments? Yeah, the, the, the film scenario I gave was quite funny. But I thought, wow, God, you're actually saying something so powerful. I felt so tense, but I just kept, kept saying, God is good, God is good, God is good, God is good. And it really changed the narrative for me. And that's why I came to share the message, okay? So also, what I want us to do is to practice and be intentional about our thoughts, about what we say to ourselves about ourselves in the situations where we feel some despair in situations where we feel uncomfortable in situations where we even feel good let's remember to speak positive words at all times now i'm not saying that you have to be fake about a situation sometimes we do have to call something what it is to identify a problem or a situation and then to move on from it that's different that's reasoning, that's resolution. But I'm talking about when you have a shock and something comes to your system, what are we saying? I'm not good enough. Oh, I don't think I'm going to live long. You know, sometimes people do say these things. I don't think I'm going to live long. My time on this earth is short. Let's be careful about the words that we are using, okay? Remember also that when God created the world, okay, he used words he said let there be light and there were light and there was light so what i'm trying to say is that this is an example of the fact that yes words are powerful god created our whole world the whole world by the use of his words and we are created in god's image so it just goes to show that what we say is also very important okay i'm gonna also do another um video about you know the words we use to other people and we say to other people but today's just really centered on ourselves i want us to look down deep within and make conscious decisions even if it's not comfortable but please align yourself with this message so that we're able to move forward in a very very positive way and everything that god has planned for each and every one of us when we start start to speak life in that situation we're moving and we're merging with god and we can go forward imagine god saying that you, he wants you to be the president and you're saying you can't read or write or if you're saying i can't speak or if you're saying oh i'm not good enough or i don't you understand what i'm saying it's going against what god has planned for us so i want us to even if we don't feel like we're great we don't feel Still change it because the fact is you are great, you are very, very special and you are important. So that's not even true anyway. But I'm just saying change the narrative when it comes to the words we speak. I don't care what we're facing. I know it's hard, guys, but we have to really get this right. I believe that there is a lot of power in words. And when I believe God spoke to me about that the other day, I said, you know what? What better thing than to come and share with my inspirations so we can all inspire each other and we can all grow together. All right, guys? So I hope you really enjoyed this message. I enjoyed sharing it. Until next time, be inspired, be encouraged, be blessed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and press the notification bell. Mm. Take care, guys.